Hey everyone, welcome to the beginner breakdown video for Maxima and King of Fighters 14. This video is going to give you a basic foundation on the character, that way you can get right into the game, start beating up your friends, get some wins in. So with that, let's get started with the last member of the K dash team, or the K apostrophe team, whatever. So first off, let's go over his far normals, light punch, light kick, heavy punch, heavy kick. Both his, so his light punch and heavy punch are pretty notorious whiffers on crutching opponents, especially if they're a small body like uh, Nakaruru or Kula. Those will go right over them uh, unless they're, uh, it'll definitely hit big bodies. So remember that. It all, it'll also whiff a lot on just like average sized characters too. They're really high up there. So instead of using these to poke, use a light kick. That goes probably just as far as is heavy punch or light punch, sorry. But it will hit pretty much everybody in, in the cast who's crouching. So use that if you need a poke. And then let's see. The other thing to note is that light punch, far light punch, is special cancelable. So you can cancel into that. That didn't combo because there's too much startup on on this move. But one of his quicker moves can combo into it, like that, like that that combo, that ex rush move. The thing is though, a lot of Maxima's moves are really slow and so it's hard to get anything consistent off of this other than maybe that EX move. Next thing to note is his far heavy punch is super cancelable. It's not special cancelable so don't even try that, but it is super cancelable. As you see, I tried cancelling into that super. It does push him back so if you land this like at the tip and then you cancel into super, sometimes you might not get the full animation. You do have to be a little closer if you want to super cancel it, like into that super at least. See, like there, I, I got the, the full damage. If you are further out, you could spin an extra bar for the EX version, and then you most likely will get the full animation. Like, again, if it's super at the tip, you might not get the full animation. There. So that was a little further out than the regular one, and it comboed because the EX version goes further. Definitely keep that in mind if you're using that to uh, super cancel. And then is you might have noticed that his heavy punch and heavy kick are pretty slow, and there is a reason for that. So there you go. That's why. So both of them have a little bit of armor on them at the uh, beginning of it, and because this is super cancelable, as I just went over. You could like blow through a, a quick move or like any move as long as it's not multiple moves. I don't think it has enough armor to go through several attacks. But if it's like a single attack, it'll, it'll go through it, and you can cancel that in a super if you you know land it. And then heavy kick is the same thing. And there you have it. That also is that also has a little bit of armor. Heavy punch, you know, can armor through things as I just showed, and you can super cancel it as well. It can't armor through low attacks, as far as I know. Uh, you'll just get hit in the legs. So that's why this button exists, but you don't really get anything off of that as far as I'm, I'm concerned. You can't really super cancel it or special cancel it. It's just that if you want to counter a low armor through it, you can use that. And this is for anything that's high. And it gets the benefit of being super cancelled. Oh, and also all of those attacks are negative on block. These are pretty negative on block. These are less negative, but all still negative. That's going to be a pretty common trend with Maxima, as you'll see further in this video. Next, let's go over his close buttons. Light punch, light kick, heavy punch, heavy kick. So both his heavy buttons can be super sp or special cancelled. Again, uh, like all the other characters in this same team, his heavy punch is exactly the same, two hits. And you can special cancel either of those two hits into any of the special moves, and there's enough hit stun on them that Maxima's very slow moves will combo. Same thing with heavy kick. And then uh, again, super cancelable as well. That wasn't a super. Neither was that. But that was. So you can use that, uh, heavy punch especially, to uh, combo. He does get pushed a little further. He does get pushed back on the second hit. So if you're unfamiliar with the rules with a with, uh, close heavy punch, the first hit you're really you're right next to them if you cancel the first hit. If you wait until the second hit, you are further back. You get pushed back a little bit further. I don't think it's that big of a deal with Maxima, uh, at least at low level. 
Other thing to know that is that close light kick is a low. So if you're right next to them and they're sand guarding, that'll hit them low. And then his close light punch, light kick. His close light punch and light kick will combo into each other, so that'll combo. And they do have to block that second hit low, so if they're stand blocking, they, they will have to block that low. Not really a mix up, but so like if they're crouch blocking, they'll block both of them. And then that second hit, the light kick can be cancelled into one of his command holes, which is down floor heavy punch. It'll look something like this. Like that, and then I'll go into the specifics of that move, but this move can be special to cancel. Like so. So another thing to note that I almost forgot is all those buttons are negative except for light punch. So like uh, close light kick is a little negative on block. The heavy ones are more negative and then light punch is very slightly plus on block. So there is one thing Max Mad's going for him. He has one positive move. That's that it's that and it's that move. Let's go over his crouching normals next. Light punch, light kick, heavy punch, heavy kick. So his heavy kick goes super far. It's pretty good, at least in terms of um, range. It can't be special cancelled like a lot of the other sweeps in this game, but you can super cancel it for whatever reason. But it won't combo. Uh, you can't even combo a laser super after it, after it. So I'm not sure why you can special cancel it. Maybe you'll find out someday, but I mean, I don't have the answer for you. <laughs> Heavy punch. This move is pretty decent. It goes kind of far, and at max range, you can cancel it into his very slow special moves, and it will combo. There's enough hits done on it on it for that. His both his light punch and heavy punch can be blocked standing or crouching, so only his heavy kick and light kick are actual lows. And then from up close, you can do like one light kick, one light punch, and it'll combo. And then from there, you can do like down forward heavy punch, which is that command normal I, men I mentioned a little earlier. Like that, and you can special cancel that into something or super cancel it. You can also do like two light punches in a row and, and uh, down forward heavy punch, that might be a little easier for you. Also, a lot of those buttons are negative. The only one that is very slightly positive is light kick. Very slightly. Yeah, I mean, I don't think it's going to really be much use, of, use to you at all, but. There you go, it's slightly positive. All the other ones are negative. Next are command normals, or just command normal. He only has one, it's down forward heavy punch. That right there. So you can use that to anti-air. And then it is special cancelable, so... He has, the, he has this move right here that grabs out of the air, so you could combo both of those. That was a little too high. And there you go. So you can do that definitely as an anti-air for a decent chunk of uh, damage for pretty low effort. And then it will hit up close as well. So if you combo into it like from his heavy buttons, you can do that pretty easily. You can wait until the second hit of that heavy punch. So you can do like, you know, if you use a light punch version it'll combo. And then you can combo into it also from like some of his crouching buttons, which I kind of went over. Like kind of like that, and then combo, you know, cancel that. And the last thing about his command normal, it's pretty negative, of course. It's maxima, it's negative. Next is his blowback move, his heavy punch plus heavy kick button or move. It looks like that. It goes forward. It's uh, kind of whatever. It's pretty negative on block. Uh, not too great. You could use it preemptively as like an anti-air since he does swing upwards. But don't just use this. <laughs> uh, it's whatever. You may not be using that unless you throw it out early. You can't special cancel it though if you wanted to. One kind of cool thing you could do with it though, not because of the that the blowback move is great. It's more like he has a good super. But uh, regardless, you can do it like this. Not that. So you could do that, waste the bar and you know get a super from full screen, but that's more credit to the super than the actual blowback move. So next is jumping normals, light punch, light kick, heavy punch, heavy kick. Yeah, they're all they all work as standard jump ins. You can get whatever off of them, off, you know regular jump in. So you can pick whatever you want. 
Uh, light punch looks pretty active to me. You can hit pretty early and it'll it'll hit. And then for cross up, you can really easily cross up with heavy punch. Huge horizontal hitbox. Easy cross up. It'll cross up on crouchers too. And heavy kick's got a good angle on it. And it, because of that, you can use it as a short hop button. And then of course you get stuff off the grind as well. And you know, maybe hit heavy punch afterwards. As well as jumping, heavy punch, heavy kick in the air, this pullback move. That's pretty, it's better than this grounded one, that's for sure. A bit of startup on it. It has a pretty good horizontal hitbox. You could use it as an, an air to air. Somebody, you can beat somebody up in the air if you hit it early enough. Then of course, like all of them, it's plus on block if you if you make your punt block it. Now for Maximus throws. Fourth throw, not a hard knockdown. Back throw, that belly to belly is a a hard knockdown, and it should be. It looks pretty rough. Next, let's go over Maxima's special moves. He has Corsor Gold back and punch. Here's light punch, heavy punch, and then EX. So, if you're going to be comboing into these, the light punch version is the one you want to use more. And you can really only combo it off of his heavy buttons, like heavy punch, heavy kick, because they have enough hit stun for that to work. It won't work with his light buttons. There's just too much startup on it. And then his heavy punch version has a lot of startup on it. But it does have armor on it. So yeah, it does have armor on it. So you could blow through something with that if you got like a, a good read on something. You could definitely try that. It has a lot of startup though. Um, players that are aware, you, it, that may not work too often. And because of the really long windup, if they're looking for it, they could really easily roll through it and just hit you. So you can, I don't know, you probably get away with it at low level on unsuspecting beginner players as well. And then you can like, you know, you can try to like be tricky by like comboing a, making them block a heavy button and canceling into that, and maybe they'll try to hit a button. And you, you know, you'll armor through and hit them. And then the EX version, probably the best one. It wall bounces, you can go for some really easy conversions off of that, kind of whatever you want. And all of those are super cancelable. You do have to cancel it like right when it lands. So yeah, there you have it. You can special cancel it. Same with the, the heavy punch one, the one that has armor. Oh, that I mentioned all of those uh, vapor thrusts or whatever they're called, vapor punch. They're all negative. Yeah, you probably already guessed that though. Next he has Corsor Gold back and a punch in the air. Here's Light Punch, Heavy Punch, same thing, and then EX. So those moves, I'm not going to really land him off of a jump in. You can cancel his air normals into it though. So like if you land like that and you're high enough, it'll it'll land. Yeah, early it'll com you'll combo into it and you can do the same thing with EX. They're all pretty negative. There's not a lot you can get off the EX one. Yeah, I tried mashing auto combo afterwards. That was pretty disappointing, so... That much utility as far as I know. You would think that was positive, right? Right? Uh, oh, it is very slightly positive, just a tad. So you could do that. You could waste. You could you can go into max mode, and you can jump, and then waste part of your max mode meter to be a little bit positive. Yeah, you probably won't be doing that a lot as a beginner. Maybe there's like a really sick high level reason you'd want to be using this. Maybe like a sick ass combo. I don't know. But uh, you probably won't be using it too much. Especially the the regular ones. Like, look at this. <laughs> he landed before I even jumped. So yeah, probably won't be using them. I guess a useful thing from that you'd get is like if you know, if you somehow know that you're gonna be landing that, like a jump in or something, you could combo into it. Oh, what the. F
uh, while messing around actually making this video I learned something new. So that air, this move right here, you can't cancel his kick buttons, his air kick buttons, you can only cancel his punch buttons. So like that belly flop you can cancel into it, flight punch you can cancel into it as well. But uh, knee or heavy kick you can't, so definitely remember that, I did not know that. I was going to say the only thing that I could think of that you could want to use this for is like if you know your jump is going to land, you could like, uh, you can't, I don't think you can cross up with it and do it, but you can get like a guaranteed hard knockdown. So ne his next move is a DP plus kick, in other words forward, down, down, forward, and then kick. Looks like that. I showed that a little earlier. You can use it as an anti-air, you know, pull somebody out of the sky with that. Uh, ideally, you probably just want to combo it from that for extra damage, so do that to anti-air and then cancel into this. You could do it, just do it raw, and then it, you know, it has a lot of recovery on it. The heavy punch one it has the exact same distance and angle on it, and then the heavy kick one is a little quicker, and it is also a hit, so you could combo into it if you wanted to from the ground, because it is a hit. It is uh, really, really, really negative. So uh, definitely combo into it, or uh, do it for more damage from like off of this or something. You can also use it as a wake up option. The So if you're in Maxima and you get knocked down, you could wake up and do that. And it does have armor on it, actually. So if they like try pressuring you, you could eat, you know, their attack as you're getting up off the ground and then, you know, hit them with that and you'll get the full animation. Next he has Hassar go back and kick. Here is light kick with animation. So it is a command grab and he'll rush towards the you know, the wall he's facing and slam the opponent, and then the heavy kick one, he'll just charge forward until he will until he touches the opponent. I think it goes full screen. No, it does not. It goes almost full screen. It, just, it goes less than full screen. There we go. It goes less than full screen. And he'll slam the opponent, and you can combo, you can actually combo to the light kick one off of a lot of his uh, close buttons. It's really quick. So you can even get it off of that, like close light punch, close light kick, and you can do that. You can even get off of like his crouching normals as well. That two light kicks will put him too far, so you gotta remember distance is, is key. And then his EX1 I think goes a little further. Yeah, so it's really quick and it goes further, so I wasn't able to get a to get you know a light kick version of the command grab from two crouching light punches, but I was able to get EX one of that. And then all three of them have the, uh, the same follow up. So once he slams them against the wall, if you input Curl Circle back and punch, he'll do a follow up. And it looks like that. So you can do that for a little bit extra damage. And then not only that, but the wall slam part of that grab, not the follow up, but the wall slam, can be super cancelled. So like that, and you can get it off the light kick version as well. As I said a couple times in the video, the EX1 is the quickest one, so you can combo off of it from a lot more things. Next are our supers, he has core circle forward twice and either punch. Looks like that, it has a pretty short range on it. And then the, here's the animation. And then the EX1. Pretty cool. <laughs> and he has core circle forward twice and kick. Is that laser super? And goes full screen. And then EX. And then his climax super is half circle back twice and both punches. It'll look like that, and then the other direction. So that's the other way. You do, you can only uh, combo into that super if you're close enough, though, because you know this has, you know, this only has so much range. And if you want to cancel into his climax super, uh, the same rules apply, the exact same one. So.
and then you can also cancel it from his uh, laser super. The uh, closer you are, the easier it is to land. He does go really far forward, and he'll hit the opponent. One neat thing about it, though, is if the opponent has their if their back is to the corner, which means you know the screen it won't it won't scroll forward anymore. You can land the laser super from full screen. And that'll work because uh, there's nowhere for them to fly backwards. Next, some combos to start with. Uh, you can do some really easy stuff like from close range, like close light punch into like command grab. The has to go back, move, and then you'll, you know, now they're in the corner, you can like stagger it with the heavy punch or the heavy kick version of it. And then uh, they might just sit still and get grabbed by that. And then you can you, know, you can do like light buttons in the command grab as well if if you know if they whiff something and you're not sure how to punish you just be like you just do that and then of course you can do the follow up which is course go back and punch and then you can also like don't forget you can cancel that in the super which I just tried matching and I missed if you're just trying to beat up your friends you could probably get a lot of mileage out of like doing something dumb like like that. <laughs> Oh, and of course, I almost forgot. Uh, you can do like light punch, light punch, down forward, heavy punch. And then you cancel that into that vapor thrust punch. And of course, it's heavy buttons as well. So there's some easy stuff. And don't forget to use this dance here. So I'll start with, start with that. So there we go. There's my uh, Maxima breakdown video. Hope you, you learned a thing or two. Yeah, I'm not sure where I'm going to go with the character. The beginner breakdown series. Whatever teams looks interesting to me, I'll probably jump over to them next. And it's always kind of time to show. If you found something useful or if you want to see more, feel free to subscribe. It, it was nice seeing some uh, people subscribe after putting out these videos. So that is some really nice motivation, honestly, seeing some of those. Even if it was a few, I'm like, oh man, this, this must be what esports feels like. And so uh, that does help. I mean, whatever, I'll still make them. They're still pretty fun to make, and I'm learning the game, so whatever. Regardless, thanks for watching the uh, conclusion of Season 2 of this series. Every new team is going to be a new season. So whatever, anyways, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next video. Oh my god, he goes full screen. I didn't even know that. I'm learning fuck out. I'm learning new maxima attack. You know, cut this part out, don't add this in, but Yeah, that was way too good to be true. <laughs> it's already in the corner. No oh, shit. 